A really interesting question that comes from young people who are actually sort of thinking, society's moved on, we, we don't need these conversations in society anymore. And that's something to rejoice in, but we do need those conversations in the church because um, we've, we've never had them in such a way that we've been able to engage with difference um, without people feeling they're under pressure to um, think or believe a particular view. And living in love and faith offers that. It offers us the opportunity to respect one another and to honour each other's different points of view and still live together in the kingdom of God and still rejoice in those differences and still make sure that our churches are truly places of welcome where people in all sorts of different relationships are able to worship together, to grow together, to learn to live together, to love together and to build God's multivaried kingdom in the way that God wants it to be built.